So the Mud Creek landslide occurred on May 20th, 2017, and it reshaped the California coastline and was the and is the largest recorded in Big Sur. Is located we're located at post mile marker 8.6 in San Luis Obispo County. Um, one mile south of the coastal town of Florida, California. Well, actually, we're, we are in Monterey County, nine miles north of the Monterey San Luis Obispo County line. Side material initially extended 600 feet into the ocean, creating 15 acres of new land. And this whole area is that new land that we're sitting on right now. A quarter mile section of the scenic Highway 1 now lies under rock and dirt. Uh, 1,700 feet wide. In total, about 75 acres of land were displaced, including 15 acres out to sea, 5 million cubic yards of slide debris. The slide is currently still active and access is now open. <laughs> uh, pretty much above this is the road that everyone travels. No one really gets to come down here. This will be used for our ongoing maintenance of this area. Um, we have RSP set up all along. What's RSP? It's the rock slope protection to prevent the wave energy. Um, we're in, we're north of Point Conception. We have a lot of wave energy here that already began eroding the slide after the slide began. And that was one of the big issues with this was all the erosion and the sediment displacement going over all the black abalone habitat, which I'll talk about later. So back to, okay, so since the 1980s, uh, state of California has created over 100 coastal marine reserves and conservation areas acknowledging that submerged coastal resources such as black abalone, kelp forests, and other fish species. Agencies have collaborated with the California Department of Transportation, Caltrans, to establish standard protocols to ensure landslide response activities progress as quickly as possible while also complying with multiple federal, state, and local laws protecting public safety and the environment. Caltrans and the Morro Bay, uh, Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary are coordinating with other federal, state, local agencies to determine engineering solutions for restoring the road while minimizing the natural resources. Of the roadway prism is a big bowl. It already naturally formed to some degree and all the engineers were looking at it as well as all the experts that Caltrans brought in that have worked on a bunch of the slides in the area and their best solution was to build up the banks of the bowl to make sure all the material that's coming down all the rock fall from the top top of that scarp which is like the top of that ridge right there that all still is coming down it's all active slide so that's all being caught in this massive bowl Every once in a while we'll have to go in there and clean out the bowl with backhoes to make sure it's actually caught and doesn't overfill onto the roadway. And once that bowl was kind of built up a little bit more, they had to punch in a culvert to drain the water that would collect in that bowl. So that culvert's now filtering out all the water and going out down into the ocean. 